guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be this purple inspired makeup tutorial so let's jump in so I'm first starting with my next angel veil and I'm applying this all over my face you guys know that this is one of my favorites uh, primers just because it primes my face really nicely and it evens out my skin and it just makes application easier now I'm gonna go in first and apply my brows I want to show you a little trick you apply a little bit of oil if it's dry and then you just mix it around and you're good to go so I went in and applied my NYX pomade in the color black and I just like to draw or outline my eyebrows first and then I go in and fill them in and this just makes my eyebrows look on fleek and it makes everything look a lot cleaner and I just really like it I'm going to take the MAC Studio Fix uh, Fluid Foundation. I am in the color NC40. It is super yellow and I've had this for a hot minute. I actually haven't used it in a while. So I wasn't sure if it was going to look good on me, but it turned out okay. Now I'm going to take the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer and this is an NC30, I believe. And I'm going to blend it out and I've been really enjoying blending it out with the same foundation brush. This is the e.l.f. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but it's like the ultimate blending brush, I believe. It's really good and it blends on my concealer really nicely as well. Now I'm going to set everything doing the baking method. I really like this because it keeps my oil under control and it leaves my skin looking really mattified and really smooth. This is the NYC Translucent Powder. You guys asked me if I like this better than the Airspun and honestly they go hand in hand. I really like both. This one is a lot more lightweight and it doesn't smell like the grandma so <laughs> that's a plus. Now I'm going to take an old school and take the Special Occasions Palette by BH Cosmetics. This is such a pretty palette. I do not know why I don't use it as often, but I absolutely love it. So I'm going to take this color right here. It's a very soft, like a cherry color almost. And I'm going to start applying that to the outer corner. I am going to be winging it out a little bit just to create a more cat eye effect on my eyes. I really feel like this is the best technique that looks good on my eyes. And I bring it all the way in and then I go back and I start blending this is the beauty junkies um, fluffy tapered brush and I really really like that one now I'm gonna take a second color and I'm gonna take this more dark maroon color the look that I went for was not what I had in mind but you know I just kind of had to go with the flow so I did use that color to further deepen out that outer V and as you can see it gave me a really nice like berry color for some reason it looks purple but it's not like I said it's more of a dark berry maroon color which I really really liked so I'm just going to go ahead and blend everything make sure that there are no harsh lines definitely take your time Next, I'm going to move on to my lid color, and this is the Shimmer Shadow by City Color Cosmetics in New Year, New Me. And it's a really pretty, um, I would say it's like a yellow gold champagne color. It's really, really pretty. And I like to apply that with my fingers because I feel like that's how I get the most pigments. And then I do go back and blend everything so that lid color doesn't overpower our crease color. I'm going to dip my brush into this black eyeshadow, just a tiny, tiny bit, and I'm going to smoke out the outer V of my eye. I I didn't know what I was going for. I, like I said, I was just kind of going with the flow. So I did go ahead and deepen up the outer crease just a little bit, and then I'm going to move on to my eyeliner. I like to start at the outer part with my wing and then just bringing it in. This just gives me a better idea of how thick or how thin or how dramatic I want my wing liner. So that's what I did. I'm going to apply my lashes and now I'm going to move on to bronzer. This is a Too Faced bronzer. I believe this is in deep tan. It is a little too orange for my taste, but I kind of might make it work. I just use it and it smells amazing because it smells like chocolates. So I'm going to use this to contour my face as well. I didn't do anything intense as far as contouring. So I just used that in this Soho brush, which is super, super old. I've had it for years. I can't even remember. But it's one of my favorite brushes to apply my blush. And I'm going to go in with this apricot 
blush that it came in that special occasion palette from BH Cosmetics. I believe they still carry this palette. Not sure. I will check for you guys and I will leave it in the down bar if they do. For my highlight, I'm going to take my very overly used highlight. This is the Wet n Wild Hollywood Boulevard highlight. It is amazing and I've heard it to do before the Becca highlights. Sorry, that was my phone. So anyway, I'm going to apply it to my nose, my cupid bowl, my chin, and then a little bit to um, the tops of my eyebrows just to balance everything out. And to the lower lash line, I'm going to do exactly the same steps as I did on the eyes. So make sure you do that just to balance again everything. And then I do like to take a more fluffier brush and blend everything. I did apply some glitter in the inner corners just to give a little bit more pizzazz. These are not glitters that are meant for the eyes, but I did apply them, so just beware. And then to finish off the look, I'm going in with the NYX Soft Spoken um, Lipstick, and that is it. This completes the look. I really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.